Gonna give some of this Evercoat UV primer a shot. Gonna need a black SATA cup to go with it. And if I move this out of the way, I use the UV gun right here to make sure that it cures in a minute. Primer ready to sand in a minute. So, really excited. This stuff should work pretty good. They also make UV cured body fillers, which I'm really curious to try as well. Step one though, get the TDS, read it over, and make sure you follow this to a T, otherwise your product might not work as intended and you get frustrated and you never buy it again. And I really want this to work for myself because it's fast. Here's what we got going. Two to three light to medium coats, allow one to two minutes flash time. Then it says allow a five minute purge time before activating the LED light. So I'm guessing flash time like normal without a light and then let it sit five minutes after your three coats and hit with the light could be wrong could be right i'm gonna try that though 1.4 to 1.8 i'll put 1.5 because that's what i got handy right now ready to sand after five to six minutes that's crazy fast i figured out how this thing works hold it there you go uv light let there be light Get a sunburn with this bad boy. So when you have to use a UV light, you're gonna want some UV glasses. Bonus points for the style, but this is gonna save and protect your eyes. Otherwise, I don't know what happens, but probably burn your eyes. There's two coats. I don't know. High build, I don't think the 1.8 is quite big enough. Might have to go to Princess Auto and get a, a two maybe. This is a bit of a trip using some UV primer. I can see that it's drying in real time with just a light. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit here for five minutes. Make sure it doesn't blow up, but it's pretty quick. So we'll see how it turns out. They say it's not meant for plastic, but I'm gonna experiment it right here, doing a free repair for two reasons. I wanna try it out on plastic. See if it blows up and the second one is the color and we just blend it around the bumper perfect color match deals with the scratches everybody's happy we out here getting it i definitely am pushing the limits to this size of repair but i think we're gonna be pretty dialed in 22 inches from the panel does about 68 centimeters which is Whatever that is in freedom units, but that's about this. Just barely reaching edge to edge. Thinking, like I might need a stand. If this isn't working, just holding it. Got other things I could be doing, but it is drying. So am I allowed to do this? Get really close? And go back and forth? Never used UV primer. But it is not shiny anymore. I have no idea. I don't see why you couldn't do that. If you didn't, it would just stay wet. Get nice and close, give her the juice. Call that good. Ooh. Maybe. Now if I go further back, does that mean just more time with the light? And then I can get all of that repair. You see how big that circle is? Right? Is that still effective? Okay, what do we got? This has a bit of a gummy feel, but I think you have to wipe it down with some gun wash first. Get rid of that, then you can sand it. Thinner on a rag. Thinner on some primer. Yeesh, I don't know about that. We'll keep going though. And you know what? It's not even gummy anymore. Cool. And it is supposed to be a little transparent as well. Otherwise the light won't get through. And it sounds really nice. Very powdery. A little bit more texture, I think, for the better tip. Like a two. That should lay out really nice. And don't have to fight that orange peel as much in that primer, but pretty good okay prepped out 600 grit no pinholes but anybody that uses uv 
I can faintly see the filler. Now, is that just because the primer isn't fully gray, it's a little transparent? Because this isn't quite the same green, bluish color the filler is. I think that would be fine to paint on top of. I don't know, somebody let me know if this is okay or do I gotta go over it again with some primer. One thing I noticed about this, reading here, total solids by weight 70 to 80 percent solids now this primer right here is about 65 percent solids this stuff does not shrink if this doesn't shrink back at 65 percent this for sure doesn't shrink back at 80 percent just looking at this at a quality standpoint the higher the solids content the less shrinking it's going to get because there's less solids to evaporate out what i mean by shrinking you fix a spot it shrinks back really bad. It could be your filler or it could be your primer. You'll see a bit of a ring where the filler was, but it, the more solids content, the less likely that is going to happen because as it dries, as it cures, there's a smaller amount of solids to evaporate out and it'll shrink less and it'll shrink faster. So you'll get to fully cure a little bit quicker. And the reason why your UV primer has such high solids content because they're not relying on solvent to evaporate out make it dry it's relying on that light to make it dry and cure so you can then have a primer that has less solvent in it and that alone I guess like I said it'll just make it shrink less I definitely get the hype behind these UV products the only thing I wish this one was wasn't so high build and it was more just like your standard urethane based primers where an actual 1.5 would do the trick with a 1.8 just wasn't cut. Probably break up the 2.3, which is the big hog that we use with the VP 2050, because that stuff, that's thick. So I'm told that this is supposed to stay gray, and I'm thinking of other products which are clear. And this time I pulled out the Princess Auto 2.3. The finish just came off. Thinner will do that too over five years. But you can see even right there, it's spraying a lot smoother than that other one I just used, so I'm gonna be really happy with blocking this because I don't have to fight the texture as much now. I'm glad we can all learn on the fly, just like I am. 2.3, there's two coats. I think I'm gonna put a third one on, and then instead of holding the light, I got this really fancy stand where I can set the light on top and shoot at the panel and not the weight. If this cup wasn't black, eventually the primer in that would harden up. If it was like the clear ones that I use. If I would have used this gun right off the hop, I know I would have been good. And also knowing that it is supposed to stay gray, I did not put it on heavy enough, I don't believe. So it should be it's good to go now. I can block it, make it pretty, paint it this afternoon, and it's just quick. Within 10 minutes from mixing to ready to sand. Maybe about 10 minutes. I really shouldn't say mixing because you just pour out of the quart into the cup. That's it. There's no hardeners, no nothing to put in it. Just pour it in, make sure the cup is black, and you can just store it in there indefinitely, really. Maybe change your cup out, I don't know, every month or so, but it can just sit in there. Might even go as far as saying you could just store it in the gun like that. Long term, no idea. Short term in the same day, sure, go for it. Maximum of 22 inches. Boom. Boom. Right on the dot. Let's go. Now look at that primer. It's leveled out even more after hitting the light on it. Way smoother. Way smoother. Who would have thought at the time a $40 Princess Auto Gun could lay down the primer that smooth with a 2.3 tip? I am not lying to you when I say that Princess Auto Gun laid down some glass a 2.3 that was the play that's what i needed the first time just primed it oh yeah that doesn't feel as gummy as before either interesting i'm gonna go for lunch prep this out really cool really really cool i was prepping it out and it had little almost bubbles or something so I'm gonna hit it with the light again. I think maybe it was too heavy. It's not fully cured because I put it on too thick. So we'll give it another five minutes here and that should, I think, sort it all out. 
This primer might just be a two coat, not a three coat primer. It is super high built and can get away with two, I think for sure. Three might be causing this issue that I have here. So, you know, we live, we learn, we figure it out. But yeah, so far so good. It sounds really nice. Too heavy for the light, sanded it, and the light should be able to get in further down now and hopefully cure the rest. We're living, we're learning, but everything sounds nice on the edge. It's feathering away really nice, like it's been really good that way. See it right there? It's hard to tell. These are the spots. That's what was kind of bubbling. Had it back here for six. I'm just gonna hammer it on right here for, I don't know, another minute or so. Should be good, right? Somebody needs to give me an answer here. I'm just figuring it out. It happened right there there again now this is all learning this is the first time for everything there you go you can see that i don't know how to stop that i think just put it on lighter but i'm going to cure that more the ones up there seem to have stopped this one started would this have been easier if i just did my old primer and heat lamp yes but if i know if i figure it out now next job it's gonna literally just take 10 minutes to have it sorted and moving on instead of taking two hours to make sure that that thing is fully cured with the heat lamp. The cool thing about the UV primer is, is if, if I did blow it up and it just does not work it just bubbled out and made a mess I could have it sanded off reapplied and then within 10 minutes I'm back sanding on it but uh, I got it we're good we'll get it in the booth now and uh, Moving on. All of this UV's got me thinking about Soak here. They have a whole bunch of UV products from chip filling, putty, uh, epoxy, and regular primer. So if they ever came to Canada, I'm in.